commencement ceremony. My name is Annabelle Turner, and I am the class of 2023's class president. It is an honor to be here with you tonight and to open our commencement ceremony. Before I continue any further, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, and gentlemen, remove your caps for the national anthem, which will be led by Samantha Cornell. I pledge allegiance to the Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed. You may be seated. As we gather tonight to celebrate our graduation from high school, it is with sadness that we remember not everyone in our class got the chance to make it this far. We remember Mark Quay Branch tonight with a white rose on a chair among us. His classmates, please join me in a moment of silent remembrance. Thank you. 0623. While these four numbers may seem random or insignificant, they have been the four most monumental numbers in most of our lives. For the last 13 years, these four numbers have been present on every PSSA, SAT, Keystone, AP test, and any other standardized test. By filling in those four bubbles and scribbling down the numbers, we were making a promise to ourselves. We were committing ourselves to the next decade of our lives to our education. When I first started to write my speech for tonight, I thought, how hard could this be? How do you sum up four of the most impactful years of your life into a five minute speech? I came up with a multitude of ideas and wrote them all down and thought, that maybe I could just put them all together. It's safe to say that it was a hot mess. So naturally, I took a break and started studying for my sociology class. While I was doing this, I came across the word that I think sums up high school perfectly. This word is socialization. Socialization describes the lifelong process of learning how to be a human. The most fundamental and important period of socialization is our adolescence. This includes the years that we are in school. Our teachers, peers, parents, and friends have all shaped us and who we are as a human. Everyone has some kind of impact on you and your basic way of life. When you think back on high school, I challenge you to not only think about the tests and assignments, but to think about everyone who has impacted you. For the last 13 years, each and every one of us has had countless impressions placed upon us. Whether it was the boy who was always on your kickball team in the fifth grade or the four square champion of the seventh grade, these people had an impact on you. 
Your 10th grade chemistry partner who introduced you to your favorite music artist is a part of you. Your best friends who you know everything about have been influenced by you. The girl in the hallway whose outfits you always loved but were too nervous to tell them is a part of you. The teacher whose approval you craved and who made you a better person is a part of you. The person who sat next to you in that one study hall who never failed to make you laugh, part of you. We are all little pieces of each other. Some of the people who are pieces of you may not be graduating with us. It may be the freshman on your sports team whose optimism kept you going, or the best friend who was born just a little bit too late and who has to stay behind while you move on. Whether we knew it or not, we have all been influenced by each other in one way or another. So when you think back on high school, think about all the reasons you are who you are. I'd like to tell you all a little bit about myself. Following graduation, I will be attending Westminster College to become a history teacher for high schoolers. Now usually when I tell people this, I'm met with the same response. People are usually shocked and say, now why would you want to do that? Or are you sure, high schoolers? I'm often left confused by these responses. What people don't understand is the magnitude of impact teachers have on high schoolers. High school is when you find some of your lifelong friends, try to decide on a lifelong career. High school is where some people meet their forever spouses or make their best friends in the whole world. Teachers have the biggest impact on this. I did not go to Butler for elementary or middle school. I went to St. Luke's, a small parochial school in Cabot. I came to Butler in ninth grade, knowing only five other kids in my grade. Throughout seating chart after seating chart, I ended up with dozens of new friends, which led to you all electing me as your class president. Thank you for letting me be your class president for the last few years. We as a class have accomplished so much, whether it was on a sports team or volunteering and raising thousands of dollars for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, whether it was maintaining a certain GPA or trained to go into the workforce. Each and every one of us has accomplished great things and we will continue to make a difference in everyone's lives. I want to take a moment to thank all of the teachers who have shaped us into who we are. Many of us are becoming educators, lawyers, doctors, or any other career because of our teachers. The effect we have had on each other is astronomical. I'm not gonna talk about how happy and excited I am for high school to be over because that would be a lie. I am excited for a new chapter and for college, but that does not mean I'm happy high school is over. For the last 13 years, we have lived a life of routine. We have woken up at the same time. We have repeated the same schedule for 2,340 days of our lives. This is not something that you can easily forget or move on from, and I don't think you have to. You can be sad. You can be upset that you're leaving your friends. It's okay to be scared, but it's also okay to be hopeful. You can be excited for college or the workforce or for the military or wherever you're heading next year. This is something I had to learn this year. Everyone would say, don't be sad it's over, be happy it happened. I never understood this quote. It's okay to be sad it's over, but it's also okay to be happy it happened. We have had a crazy few years together, but we did it together. We have something that you won't have with anyone else. We went to high school together. We bonded over our interests together. We cried over homework and the stress of the day together. We also laughed together. We strolled the halls together and we loved life together. So please, feel what you feel. Don't try to fake it. Don't pretend to be happy if you're sad and don't pretend to be sad if you are happy. Feel how you feel and know that someone else is feeling the exact same way. These people and these experiences have shaped us into who we are going to become. The careers we picked, the colleges we are going to, together we have shaped each other into successful young people. Before we continue on with the ceremony, I'd like to leave you with a quote from Dr. Taylor Swift. No matter what happens in life, be good to people. Being good to people is a wonderful legacy to leave behind. Thank you, and always remember, you never truly know who you are going to impact throughout life. Congratulations, and welcome to 0623.
Good evening, class of 2023, and welcome family, teachers, and friends. My name is Autumn Gall, and as most of you know, I am the class vice president. First of all, I wanted to say a quick thank you to my parents, teachers, principals, and my friends. I truly appreciate you all so much and would not be here able to give this speech without all of you. Many of us have been looking forward to this day for the past 13 years. From every wake up on Monday mornings with the feeling that this day would never come, to the Friday nights that people would rush to their car to hopefully beat the buses for their weekend plans. We did it. With that being said, this year's theme is adversity, perseverance, and triumph. Maya Angelou once stated, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are, what you can rise from, and how you can still come out of it. While this quote has many ideas that stick with our theme, there is one word that we can change. We cannot say defeat. Instead, we can plug in the ideas of our theme into this quote, and it will truly encapsulate what we are trying to convey as the message for this graduating class to take with them in life. The revised quote reads, you may encounter adversity, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter adversity so you know who you are, what you can rise from, and how you can be triumphant. While this quote can truly help us in the future, in a way, we have all experienced this throughout each of our high school journeys. During commencement committee, we all sat there and brainstormed some of the things that set our graduating class apart from those in the past. While I'm sure no one wants to sit here and listen to me ramble on about how COVID affected us, I'll make it brief. We are the last class to ever experience high school before COVID. Our ninth grade year, while it was cut short, was the last pre-COVID student experience. However, not only did we experience high school before COVID, we definitely experienced high school during COVID, and now we are lucky to say that we have experienced high school after COVID. Okay, moving on from COVID. Another interesting little fact about our graduating class is that we were the first group of fifth graders at the middle school. Taking a trip down memory lane, our class had five years of elementary, two years at the middle school, three years at the intermediate, and three years at the high school. That is a minimum of four different schools. If this isn't adversity, I don't know what is. However, this adversity has made us so prepared for our future. We are ready to take on change with confidence and the ability to make a difference in the world. The amazing and distinguishing part about our class is the perseverance that we have all had. Not only did we make it to this day, we did it with resilience. The definition of perseverance reads, the continued effort of doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. I know there have been many times where everyone sitting here in front of me thought to themselves, is it worth it? Or I don't know if I can do it. Well, I'm here to tell you, you did it. This triumph tonight makes me truly believe it was 100% worth it, and I hope it does for you too. Whether you take this experience of adversity, perseverance, and triumph with you to college, trade school, the military, the workforce, or just with you for life in general, just remember, no matter how difficult it became or how much you doubted yourself, you did it. You graduated high school, and you are capable of achieving so much in your life. Congratulations to all of my fellow classmates. It has truly been an honor to get to know every single one of you. Good luck. To speak further on our theme of adversity, perseverance, and triumph, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce two of my classmates and friends, Luke Benkart, followed by Savannah Briggs. Every one of us here today is different, in many different ways. We all come from different backgrounds, and we will all move on to different things. You may look at the person next to you and see a close, lifelong friend, or you may see someone you don't even know the name of. But despite all of this, we are all here together as one student body. A student body that has faced many challenges over and over, both as a collective group and individually. But despite that, we are still all here together. 
And I don't care who you are or what your background is or where you're going, but that is something to be proud of. And so that leads me to this. Adversity, perseverance, and triumph. Three words that alone do not mean much, but together tell a story. Many people say that all of these commencement themes are all so similar. The same idea with a new coat of paint. And at first, I thought so too. But then I noticed that there are three words. Normally these themes are limited to one short word to summarize our year here at Butler. But this year is different. And I believe that that is for a reason. Our experiences here cannot be described in a single word. And just like how these three words, when put together, create a story, all of us put together have created a story. And this story starts with adversity. To say that this class has faced difficulties is an understatement. From an unplanned, extra long summer vacation to the actively changing school around us, the amount of challenges each of us has faced is immeasurable. We've all been struck down time and time again, from our peers, from life, and even from ourselves. And yet, we are all sitting here today, and our story hasn't ended yet. And just like how adversity is only a singular piece of this year's theme, our struggles are only one singular piece of our lives, and they most certainly do not define them. For another chapter waits on the next page, and that is of perseverance. At face value, perseverance is the continued effort to do or achieve something despite any difficulties, failure, or opposition. But I believe that it is a little bit more than that. Perseverance is getting up in the morning. It's going to that one class that you really don't like. It's meeting someone new. It's growing and advancing one step at a time. Perseverance is living. It's not getting from point A to point B. And as martial artist Michael Chiesa once said, perseverance doesn't always mean winning or losing. It means showing up and rising to the occasion. And if you don't see that sparking from every single person around you, then you're not looking hard enough. Because we have all shown up and we have all risen to the occasion. If we didn't, we wouldn't all be here celebrating our triumph. And what would be perseverance without that? Without the last chapter of our story here, our triumph. We stand here today and recognize that. We recognize the things that have come in our past, the things that will come in our future and this moment right now. Despite all of our bad days, our struggles and friendships lost. Our triumph here today is not only a diploma, but also every hobby we have gained every relationship we have made, whether it be with a friend, a sibling, or even a teacher, every accomplishment we have ever had during our time here. Our triumph here today is the new person that we have all grown into and become. And with that triumph comes the conclusion of our story, the conclusion of the story that is the class of 2023. But with every ending is a new beginning. We'll all leave here today and start a new story with new pages and new chapters. This new writing will come with its own adversity, but we have proven ourselves now and we will continue to prove ourselves in the future through our perseverance. And we will earn every triumph that is still yet to come. Just know that the only reason that a new story is being written in the clouds is because of this one. One book's ink bleeds to another. This is our story. Now go write one for yourself. Commencement. I'm going to be honest with you. When I first heard that word four years ago on the day I started my time at Butler High, I had no idea what it meant. And when I look back at our freshman selves, it's amazing what each and every one of us has been able to accomplish. Achieving one's dreams is no easy task. There are a myriad of struggles and obstacles along the path to success. And our freshman year of 2020 surely wasn't the start to high school we were expecting. 
the COVID virus shut everything down, cut us away from all the people and programs that were important to our development as people. None of us were sure when we'd ever come back to school or if anything would ever go back to normal, but we bravely faced adversity and carried on through the struggles of online learning and disconnection from our peers and teachers. Because of all this, along with construction and consolidations occurring, our senior class has been through a great deal of change and adjustment. However, this makes our class even more flexible and adaptable than ever because we know how to adjust to change and how to push through it. We've laughed and we've cried and we've probably all thought about giving up at one point or another, but the important thing is we didn't. We've devoted countless hours into homework or studying, sports, clubs, jobs, applications, survey activities, and making lasting bonds with our fellow peers. Every single thing we did, no matter how small, was a huge step in helping us become the people we are today. We didn't let anything stand in our way to the road to success. We've welcomed our challenges and perceived them as challenges to face because perseverance through hardship is what prepares us for our futures. If life was easy, then our successes wouldn't be as impressive because the harder the climb, the more beautiful the view is once you reach the summit. And look among us, it's truly beautiful and heartwarming getting to see all the people you've spent years getting to know achieving what they so rightfully deserve. Throughout our adventure inside the walls of Butler High School, although the layout has changed drastically over the past few years, we have achieved so much. And even though the building may look much different, it still has and will continue to have the heart of the Butler Senior High because this place is where we scored that touchdown or passed our final exams, performed in front of that big audience, danced our hearts out at prom, made our best friends, found our passions, and now where we received our high school diploma. We have achieved outstanding things and not only have been able to persevere through, but triumph over adversity. We're all here because we have pushed through our past struggles and turned them into our bright futures ahead of us. We've all changed and grown so much in the past few years. However, our triumphs do not end here. We will continue to persevere through adversity and the challenges we face in life, no matter how big or small. Because triumph is each small victory, each moment of trying something new, each goal we accomplish, each step we take to the road to success. Triumph comes in all shapes and sizes. So whatever you do, wherever life takes us, I can't wait to see what we are able to learn and accomplish with the rest of our lives ahead of us. Commencement, I now know what it means. It not only means graduation, but graduating having faced adversity, persevering through challenges and triumph not only by receiving our high school diplomas, but in every single success we will achieve in the future. Congratulations, class of 2023. Hello and good evening, fellow graduates, family, and friends. My name is Emma Stedman, the class of 2023 Student Council President, and I am honored to stand in front of you today and announce this year's chosen distinguished graduate. These past four years of learning, gaining new experiences, and persevering have prepared us for what's to come and what we are capable of accomplishing. We as a class are all very lucky to sit here and in 20 short minutes become alumni at a school that has had so many talented and successful individuals emerge from it. As we went through the selection process of choosing this year's distinguished graduate and we came across this woman, I found myself asking how I had never heard her story before because it is truly amazing and one that deserves recognition. I had an even harder time writing this speech and limiting myself to two to three minutes of listing her accomplishments because I could truly sing her praises for the remainder of our time and still not reach the true extent of all this woman has accomplished. 
I am eager to announce the 2023 distinguished graduate, Patricia Powers Thompson. This remarkable woman graduated in the class of 1983 from Butler and went on to get, dedicate her life to public servitude, philanthropy, and community service work. Ms. Thompson dedicated much of her life to working on the development of South Sudan in Africa, one of the world's poorest countries. She worked to help them build a well-functioning government and a cadre of skilled public workers in order to provide them the skills and means to combat their main problems and develop further. She also is the founder and first director of the Leadership Crucible in South Sudan, which works to develop young women leaders, a vital importance of addressing major challenges considering half of the population in South Sudan is represented by women. As a strong woman myself, I am especially honored to present this award to a strong woman who worked throughout her life to guide and lead strong women. Ms. Thompson also spent time in Iran as the senior governance advisor in the Diyala province, where she supported successful elections, facilitated a peaceful transfer of power, and helped in the formation of a unified government. She was awarded the Expeditionary Service Award from the Secretary of State due to her work in Iran. Patricia Powers Thompson did not stop there though. She also made many contributions to her own country. She worked as the Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of the United States Institute of Peace, working towards conflict prevention, peacemaking, and post-conflict peace building. She also played a significant role in several important 9-11 efforts, such as the creation and mobilization of the Department of Homeland Security, helping to mobilize the 9-11 Compensation Fund, and leading an initiative to redesign the country's naturalization process. She even collaborated successfully with several cabinet secretaries to develop performance contracts that were signed by President Clinton himself. Finally, Ms. Patricia Powers Thompson is a veteran who served in the Navy during the first Gulf War. She proved herself and is highly decorated in receiving the National Defense Medal, the Navy Commendation Medal, and the Navy Achievement Medal. This woman can be seen as a blueprint for us all that through hard work, determination, and a drive to help, we are all capable of more than we could ever imagine. Ms. Patricia Powers Thompson made her mark, just like I know all of you can. We as a class are incredibly honored and happy to dedicate this award to such an accomplished and devoted woman. Let's all put our hands together for the 2023 Distinguished Graduate, Patricia Powers Thompson. Class of 2023, congratulations. I've had the amazing experience of being your principal twice in your educational journey. I can fondly remember our middle school days when you first experienced stepping into a large school for the first time. You showed concern, apprehension, and fear. Now today, I see confidence, certainty, and courage. I am honored to have the ability to share this experience with you. I want to also extend my deepest appreciation to our guests tonight as well. Every one of you has had a very important role in getting our graduates to this evening. With the time that I have tonight, I want to not only provide some words for our graduates, but also for our guests. You see, you have reached a major milestone in your life by graduating tonight. Some of you have had experiences as high school students that I could only dream of. Others have reached this night under the most difficult circumstances. Statistically, you have about 50 plus years of your life to live and have new experiences and milestones. Graduates, when you hear this, I would assume that you would find that completely unrelatable. People my age may realize that we've lived half of our lives, and although surprised, we are comfortable that we have time left to do great things. Others may have just had the last 60 years of their lives flash through their minds, and you ask yourself, 
where has the time gone? Graduates, I can tell you, the days will seem long, but the years fly by. This is why tonight I want to encourage you to be the best version of yourself that you can be, regardless of time. We all know what this can look like, and we all know what we have to do to become this. So I want to briefly not share what to do, but what prevents us from doing it. I am convinced that worry is largely to blame for us not being the best versions of ourselves. Worry is unreasonable, it's irrational, it's unnatural, and it's worthless. Typically, we invest large portions of our time worrying about what ifs. Worry has never made anyone taller, shorter, smarter, stronger, cuter, or more accomplished. Worry cannot change our past. It's not going to control your future. Really, all it does is just mess up today. Worry can be the food source for fear. And we allow this to happen and we become afraid. Worry and fear prevents us from growing. So rather than move forward, we stand still and we exist. In order for us to be the best versions of ourselves, we need to be unafraid. What if I don't like college? What if I pick the wrong major? What if I can't find a job? What if I have no idea what I want to do? What ifs and worries can control our lives and change our emotions? Please slow down. Spend more time in the present moment and enjoy what you are experiencing and not what you think that you are missing. Focus on all the times like today where you have persevered had overcome challenges to be successful. Today is a step to becoming the best version of yourself that you can be. Please ask yourself daily, who am I going to be today? And choose your best. Again, graduates, I congratulate you. I am honored to be part of your special day. And know that the staff in the Butler Area School District are always here for you. Now go do great things. Thank you. Good evening, and I would like to add my welcome to those who have welcomed you before me. Every graduating class is unique. We have had classes full of superb athletes, classes that have been academically outstanding, classes that have been caring and kind, and those that have repeatedly broken new ground. While the class of 2023 certainly has its share of all of these characteristics, what I have found striking about this group is their level of commitment. For some, that commitment has led to recognizable achievements as AP scholars, as athletic champions, or as participants at the state level or beyond in Pennsylvania Junior Academy of Science, Skills USA, Future Business Leaders of America, Music Ensembles, or JROTC Raider competitions. But I have also seen these graduates be committed to honorable ideals, to their own dreams, and to one another. I want to very briefly share a few simple examples of what I have seen. From the start, the four officers of this class were determined to create new traditions for Butler's seniors, and they committed their time and energy to the planning and implementation of events such as the Senior Sunrise 
and senior sunset. Led by its senior players, a contingent of the football team demonstrated their commitment to the program by spending hours in a courtroom listening to attorneys speak legalese, ensuring that those making decisions had real faces to consider in their deliberations. Star athletes in some sports took on roles in other sports that resulted in little playing time, but they provided the team with support in practice and examples of committed leadership and dedication. Students of all backgrounds, founded on the idea of creating opportunity and connection for everyone, struck out on a new endeavor of committing to our first ever United Unified Track Team. Heck, there's even a young man in this class committed to the dream of living the rock and roll life and he is making that happen. Graduates, be grateful to those who prepared you, who guided your perspectives and thought processes, and helped you develop the sense of commitment that is so evident in your actions. The arrival of this class at this point would not be possible without the support of their families and friends and the people who make up the Butler Area School District. Every person associated with your schools in your 13 years has played a part in making this moment. The Board of School Directors, the Superintendent and staff of our Central Administration, the custodians, maintenance workers, food service staff, the paraprofessionals and secretaries, your counselors, and of course, the teachers of the Butler Area School District. At this time, I would like to acknowledge a special set of this year's graduates. Would all members of this class who have enlisted in any branch of our armed services and have committed themselves to the defense of our country, please stand and accept our gratitude and our admiration. Thank you for your willingness to serve. Finally, graduates, I assure you, more adversity is to come. No matter where in the world your lives take you, use the perseverance you have developed to gain triumph in those future times. Remain committed to others and to worthy ideals. As you move forward, Know that Butler High will always be your home. There will always be people here who are willing to help you should you need us. Congratulations and good luck to you all. We wish you the best. It is now your turn to take the world by storm. Dr. White, I certify that each of the students receiving a diploma tonight has completed the requirements to graduate, and I proudly present to you the 133rd class of Butler Senior High School, the class of 2023. Good evening. I'd like to welcome all parents, family, friends, faculty, board members, and the class of 2023 to the commencement exercises this evening. Seniors, tonight we celebrate you. We celebrate you as a group and we celebrate you as individuals. We also thank you for being a part of our community. Tonight isn't the end, nor is it the beginning. It is a milestone in your life as a student. Hope of one of many, many milestones in your life. Each of you will take a different path from here, whether you're going to the military, going to a college, a university, a trade school, or starting a career, your learning will continue. However, 
It's now your turn to decide what you would like to learn. I encourage you to embrace learning. Find a way to learn more about the world around you, the people around you, the laws that govern us. When people decide to stop learning, it's usually because they believe they know everything. And this is not a good mindset for anyone, as there's always something more to learn. I hope what you've learned and what you will learn can be used to make the world a better place. I thank you for what you've done and what you will do, and I'm hopeful for the future because of you. Family members, friends, mentors, everyone who has supported the class of 2023, I want to thank you. Resilience is not always innate, it's learned. You've nurtured, you've encouraged, you've offered hope and joy. Thank you. And based off your energy walking in this evening, I have to say, it was my sixth graduation program at Butler, you have to have won the award for the most uh, energetic crowd to celebrate the graduates. And I think it might be indicative of the energy you've placed upon the class of 23 to get them to this place, so thank you. Seniors, I wish you well in every endeavor you pursue, and I hope your years at Butler Senior High School have been filled with memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you for all of your work and dedication. As you head out into the world, <clears throat> remember, we believe in you, and we're also very, very proud of you, and we'll continue to be proud of you. It's been an honor and privilege to work with you. President Cummings, Vice President Daniels Wells, by the authority vested in my office by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Butler Area School District Board of Directors, as a commissioned officer of the state and superintendent of schools, I verify that this class of 2023 has obtained the graduation requirements set by the Butler Area School Board, Board of Directors, the Pennsylvania Department of Education, and the State Board of Education. At this time, I would like Annabelle Rose Turner, who is the class president and has graduated with honors and distinction, to please come forward. This certifies that Annabelle Rose Turner has satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Board of School Directors in the Pennsylvania Department of Education for the senior high school and in the testimony thereof is awarded this diploma. Thank you. Would all members of the class of 2023 please stand as we turn our tassels together? Three, two, one. You all may be seated. At this time, we will announce the names of the graduates beginning with the group seated around the podium. Carly Elaine Baker, graduating with honors. Jillian Renee Ming Clark, graduating with honors. Savannah Grace Briggs, graduating with honors. Luke Robert Benkart. Jack Cody Teff, graduating honors with distinction. Emma Grace Stedman, graduating honors with distinction. Autumn Paige Gall, graduating honors with distinction. Samantha Riley Cornell, Graduating honors with distinction. Our next group of graduates to be announced are those earning the designation honors graduate with distinction, attained by achieving a cumulative weighted QPA of 4.3 or higher. Maisie Grace Gibson.
Carson Rose Bowden. Maylee Rebecca Cornetti. Ryan Elizabeth Deal. Bryce Allen Dryden. Zoe Ann Fisher. Kendall Leslie Froilin. Cameron Ann Hanratty. Isabella V. Holman. Catherine Amanda Horder. Hope Kellen Look. Timothy Ryan Lutchkew. Owen Nicholas Maharg. Dylan Kenneth McCain. Ryan Timothy McClister. Samantha Roma Miller. Jessica May Money. Alexander Vincent Moncello. Isaac Robert Boring. Bryn Angela Morton. Anna K. Munko. Claire Cecilia Nebel. Victoria Jean Nebel. Hannah Lee Neely Aldridge. Rocco Francis Pellegrino. Ava Elizabeth Plunkard. Madeline Grace Christie Semler. Zachary James Shields. Carmen Renee Skull. Peyton Marie Slagle. Lance Michael Slater. Kiara Bella Sloboda. Tyler John Stoops. Amelia Philomena Valentino. Madison Jade Varner. Kaylin Paige Tossadori. Rachel Catherine Volker. Michaela Lee Wabe. Hannah Lee Wills. Zun Jean Zien. The next group of graduates to be announced are honors graduates earning a 4.0 to a 4.2999. Alexander Walker Arcuri. Megan Louise Bagetta. Haley Arletta Baxter. Brianna Lynn Burke-Bickler. Maxine Jane Berger. Nicholas Gideon Burlingham. Kylie Elizabeth Cristofano. Madden Paul Clement. Violet Joy Cogley. Nathan Thomas Kroll. Olivia Taylor Culp. 
Chase Jaden Depew. James Edward Desmond. Morgan Jane Drake. Maxwell Martin Gianaski. Andrew Marcus Hardsock. Madison Joanne Harrison. Olivia Pearl Henny. Sophia May Herring. Lily Ann Hilliard. Tyler James Prentice. Anna Rose Heinemann. Tristan Charles Irwin. Michael Andrew Cranebucker. Ivy Aurora Leinenbach. Ruby Juliet Link. Alyssa Lynn McGill. Marin Grace McIntyre. Derek Michael McLafferty. Brayden Michael Mitchell. Abigail Lauren Mascala. Joseph Francis Panyon. Morgan Elizabeth Paul. Ella Grace Paul. Ryan Jeffrey Porch. Mac Remington Schnur. Zoe Christine Scott. Ian George Shea. Tori Elizabeth Stevenson. Lana Marie Stewart. Mason Marcel Stewart. Taylor Renee Temple. Aubrey Elizabeth Thomas. Taylor Nicole Thrash. Shrey Jigarbai Trevetti. Michaela Madison Turner. And Hannah Grace Wyland. The remaining graduates' names will now be read, beginning with Ethan Thaddeus Babe. <laughs> Starting with our foreign exchange student, Pedro Daniel De La Rosa. Tyler Mark Aaron. Alyssa Marie Abrams. Becca Madeline Allison. 
Ryan Aaron Allison. Myla Elizabeth Andrews. Andrew Lee Archer. Joshua Alexander Aspelin. Joseph Walter Atkinson. Corey Lee Barnhart. Brady Dutch Barr. Colby Michael Beers. Brooke Allison Bellis. Anastasia Marie Benson. Michaela Nicole Benton. Lucas Elijah Bruno. Brandon Michael Bergbigler. Ryan Michael Bernardi. Sarah Jean Best. Victoria Ryan Bloom. Joshua Richard Bettner. Kendra Danielle Boggs. Megan Lucille Bortmas. Destiny Mariah Bortz. Alexis Rose Bowser. Kylie Jade Bowser. Nicholas Thomas Brond. Lucas James Broom. Nathan William Brown. Noah Waters Browning. Morgan Rose Burgart. Paige Elizabeth Burke. Jonathan Jeffrey Burkert. Trinity Noel Burr. Darian Bernard Buxton. Grant Richard Byers. Aiden Michael Callen. Elena Marie Campbell. Luke James Campbell. Jenna Michelle Capriotti. Troy James Carruthers. Naomi Carrero Sanchez. Colin Robert Castillo. Logan William Charlton. Landon James Christie. Sean Tyrone Chrissy. Parker James Clouser. Alex Michael Collins. Alexis Jada Collins. Colton Reed Collins. 
Mark Patrick Collins. Kylie Nicole Compston. Kristen Lauren Compston. Anna Lee Cox. Taylor Marie Conrad. Lacey May Cook. Rayleigh J. Cosme. Morgan Kennedy Kokenauer. Natalie Carrington Kokenauer. Avery Noble Covert. Deshaun DeCarlos Cox. Shia Ann Cox. Lainey Catherine Coyle. Nathan Beauregard Crispin. Joseph Franklin Kraus. Matthew Connor Davis. Michael Francis Davis. Ashley Elizabeth Day. Adam Ronald Deal. Niven Joseph Delano. Craig Leo Denny. Lorena Catherine Di Domenico. Declan John Paul Dobson. <laughs> Levi Apple Donnell. Xander Michael Downing. Michael Robert Drotleff. Landon Christopher Dubiak. Winter Rain Duke. Taja Ray Marie Edwards. Alexis Cheyenne Eggleston. Chase Matthew Eisenhuth. Alex Layton Ekis. Bernie Thomas Elliott. Sydney Lynn Elliott. Stephen James Ellis. Ashton Clay Erdos. Alec Jared Esplin. Shane Martin Filoni. Xavier Andrew Farmer. Nathan Joseph Fadouche. Gideon Stephen Gettler. 
Ryan Joseph Flitsky. Monica Jean Fensel. Congratulations. Thank you. Sierra Danielle Fennel. Elijah James Fennec. Yvette Denise Ferragonio. Nyla Amor Foley. Peyton John Folk. Benjamin Braden Foringer. Keon David Franklin. Marquise Daquan Frazier. Robert Thomas Friel. Dakota Allen Fries. Julia Elizabeth Fur Corbett. Ethan Michael Fundark. Jaden Allen Galster. Cameron Alexander Gamble. Hunter Allen Gass. Jeffrey Vincent Gemma. Stephanie Marie Hartman. Gavin Eric Gilliland. Mackenzie Lynn Gilland. Brianna Rose Gillis. Haley Joanne Gilson. Logan Robert Gladinsky. Isabella Marie Goldinger. Jarek Jamal Graham. Riley Olivia Greco. Dakota Greywolf Gregory. Chrysalyn Green, Rose Green. Riley Jonathan Green. Nathaniel Laird Grossman. Preston Stanley Gashol. Mercedes Beth Gynup. Shauna Danielle Hare. Jeffrey William Hare Jr. Lillian Rose Hamilton. Molly Nicole Harding. Leanne Isela Hassenflu. Tessa Devane Helmsetter. Brayden John Russell Henry. Cheyenne Rose Henry. Skyler Jeffrey Hensler. Lily Amelia Herco. Jordan Christian Hibbard. Cody Scott Heineman. Serenity Ann Heineman. Ashley Madison Hers, Adriana Jolene Hahn, Nathaniel Boyd Holland, Jesse David Holmes, Lydia Grace Holt, McKenna Page Hooks, Cheyenne. Elizabeth Howe, Chloe Sue Huba, Evan Regis Huber, Adam Thomas 
Huff, Madison Jade Hughes, Kelly Nicole Kavalik, Cassandra Rose Imhoff, Martin David Imhoff. Kiara Danielle Isaac. Adriana Marie Jones. Ethan William Jones. Thomas Leahy Kane. Bailey Rose Kaufman. Adam Joseph Kaufman. Lily Micaiah Kearns. Luke David Keen. Zoe May Keebler. Caitlin Marie Kerr. Jersey Lee Kiley. Tejun Nathaniel King. Chloe Lena Kirscht. Zoe Carolyn Kirscht. Samantha Paige Clems. Zachary Theodore Nice. Haley Lynn Knight. Christopher Cam Cole. Noah Joseph Kuneski. Garrick Tyler Lapushnak. Joshua Tyler Lawrence. Morgan Claire Lawrence. Breezy Ann Lee. Sienna Marie Lockwood. Noah Joseph Long. Kylie Marie Lotion. Ruth Mary Lowen. Benjamin Claire Lyons. Hunter James McDonald. Aaron Lewis Mayer. Jaden Leanne Matt. Cody Alexander Marzico. Jasmine Marie Martzolf. Rory Angelina Masella. Matthew Jeremiah McCalman. Megan Michelle McCollum. William Shane McCoy. Robert George McCray the third. Reed Anthony McDonald. Hunter Richard McGuire. Connor J. McTie. Ku 
Cooper James McTie. Katarina Margaret Menchek. Mara Sophia Mercer. Emily Grace Meyer. Aubrey Elaine Michael. Casey Cade Miller. Katrin May Miller. Hunter Ronald Montag. Millionette Marie Muniz. Emery Francois Munn. Grace Elena Myers. Emily Sophia Neff. Austin Michael Olson. Desiree Michelle Oxford. Caleb Palacios. Isabella Noel Panicelli. Christian Patrick Petnato. Dalton Jake Playstead. Aiden Joseph Ploppy. Joshua Dylan Pogue. Brock Christopher Popovich. Riley Marie Porter. Brayden Lawrence Pavlik. Alexander Thomas Purdy. Gavin John Quinn. Ian Xavier Ragland. Mulaney Joe Rarick. Kellen Christopher Ricosi. <laughs> Jessica Angela Ranko. Jaden Marie Rodden. Matthew David Reese. Dina Nicole Regis. Rocco James Rice. Olivia Grace Rhine. Chaz Evan Ritzert. Chloe Sue Robinson. Landon Thomas Ramet. Aiden Christian Rogers Ace. Emily Christine Rogers. Caroline Elise Rundle. Justice David Joseph Schmieder. Evan Roger Schottaker. Jenna Lynn Scott. Alexia Marie Seaton. 
Logan John Seabock. Mark Eric Shansky the third. Micah James Shea. Aiden Michael Shakely. Damon Edward Shakely. Stephen Edward Sheptak. Aaron Michael Short. Brody Todd Simco. Charles Anthony Sims. Hannah Marie Simon. Jonathan Leroy Smith. Allie Caroline Smith. Savannah Marie Snedden. Tice Joseph Snyder. Jack Angelo Somerville. Chelsea Marie Seuss. Jared Christopher Seuss the second. Kenneth Harlan Spinweber. Mackenzie Margaret Ray. Jackson David Steele. Nova Trinity Steele. Aliyah Pearl Stevens. Gage Anthony Stevenson. Brendan Lee Stevens. Brady James Stewart. Saxon Kale Stoner. Alexis Paige Somerville. Noah Matthew Swanson. Devin Obed Tackett. Riley Marie Tanner. Douglas Lawrence Tapiger. Grant Arthur Twilliger. Brady William Thomas. Xander Matthew Thomas. Colton Alexander Timmons. Luke Andrew Timmons. Taylor Nicole Turk. Toby Anthony Turk. Alexander Ryan Titus. Lyric Cheyenne Townsend. Kaylee Ann Uber. Braden Reese Undercuffler. Davian Silvis Velasquez. Nicholas James Henry Vincent. Aaliyah Nicole Viverito. Riley Joseph Walk. Zoe Elizabeth Wallachek. Kay Folan Walborn. 
Cheyenne Rain Walker. Garrett Ryan Walsh. Joseph Franklin Krause. Alexis Paige Waltman. Arlo Reedy Watt. Austin Matthew Weekland. Caden Andrew Widener. Riley Christian Warner. Miranda Ray Werther. Mason Martin White. Colin John Worth. Aiden Paul Wisda. Isaac John Wisneski. Willem Dean Wolf. Jenna Ann Worsley. Parker James Worsley. Gavin Ezekiel Yomes. Dakota Sky Yusko. Bowen Evan Zanella. Matthew Michael Zinkhan. Stanley Matthew Zanesco. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jack Tuff. I've been lucky enough to meet many of you and have fostered relationships that I hope to nurture for years to come. I feel like I've been in denial about this moment and leaving those relationships behind, as I'm sure many of us are. Personally, I'm headed for a future at Virginia Tech, which is exciting, but a little bit scary. I bet that many of you feel the same way about your future. Entering the workforce, attending other colleges, heading into the military, or just trying to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life. In the future, it's the small things that we're going to remember about Butler Senior High School. The things that made us laugh and the things that made us cry. Waiting to see if a funny picture of your friend gets put on the bar stool. All the dances our partners forced us to go to. Or trying to steal your friend's chocolate milk at lunch. I know I'm not the only person here tonight that has said the following phrase. I can't wait to get out of this place. High school at Butler definitely is not perfect, but there are some great things about spending the last four years here. Whether it be the unique personalities or the friends made along the way, there has always been something special about the people here. The teachers at Butler have always helped us grow into the best versions of ourselves. Whether it be a rock star government teacher or an enthusiastic English teacher, they always strove to make us better. Many of us take for granted all the special opportunities provided for us at Butler. From sports to VoTech to ROTC or even arts and STEM, we've been able to choose our own path in high school. For some of us, that meant challenging ourselves by pushing towards a championship, succeeding at Skills USA, or meeting an academic milestone. Through these challenges, we learned that we have the ability to envision an aspiration determine how to get there, and follow through to its fruition. These high school experiences have prepared us to hope and to dream. 
To wrap this up, since I know I'm not the only one that wants this to be less than five minutes, I want to thank everyone who has supported me and my fellow classmates. The friends, family, coaches, and colleagues we have met along the way that made our high school experience so much better. I want to remind everyone graduating tonight they have the ability to take on whatever they may face and to remember they will always have people supporting them. I'd like to leave you with a final thought from my personal hero, Batman. <laughs> you only have your thoughts and dreams ahead of you. You are someone and you mean something. Congratulations, Butler Class of 2023. I At this time, I'd like to ask Samantha Cornell to return to the podium to lead us in the alma mater.